1976. Night Driver Arcade. The first attempt at pseudo 3D racing. Nineteen seventy nine Speed Freak Arcade Vector graphics appear in a racing game for the first time. Released in 1981 by Sega, Turbo featured a steering wheel, a gear shift for low and high gears, and an accelerator pedal. 1982. Pole position by Namco. Pole position is regarded as one of the most influential video games of all time. Nineteen eighty three TX one arcade. The first three screen cabinet pre dating Ferrari F three five five by sixteen years. Nineteen eighty five Konami GT. The player drives a sports car which must reach various checkpoints without running out of fuel. Nineteen Nineteen eighty five Buggy Boy Arcade, also known as Speed Buggy in North America. Excellent racer with a three screen cabinet. Nineteen eighty five. Hang On by Sega. Yu Suzuki was the designer behind Hang On. It was one of the first arcade games to use 16-bit graphics and uses the Super Scale arcade system board. 1986. Enduro Racer by Sega. The game's best feature, a special, fun to pull off wheel, works perfectly in conjunction with the handlebar controls. Nineteen eighty six Outrun Arcade, quite possibly the most famous Sega arcade game of all time. Nineteen eighty six Weckler Mans by Konami. It was the first racing video game to depict the twenty four hours of Le Mans. Nineteen eighty seven. Super Hang On. The arcade version of Super Hang On appears in the book, 1000, 
and one video games you must play before you die by general editor Tony Mott. Nineteen eighty seven Road Blasters by Atari. In Road Blasters, the player must navigate an armed sports car through 50 different rally races, getting to the finish line before running out of fuel. Road Blasters also appeared in Disney's Wreck-It Ralph. Nineteen eighty-seven. Final Lap Arcade, the first multiplayer cabinet. It was the first game to run on Namco's new system hardware and is a direct successor to Namco's pole position. Final Lap was the first racing game to allow up to eight players to simultaneously race on the Suzuka circuit in a Formula One race. This was, at the time, considered a revolutionary feature. 1987. Continental Circus. The game featured shutter-type 3D glasses hanging above the player's head. According to CBG in 1988, it was the world's first three-dimensional racing simulation. As a home conversion, the game went to number two on the UK sales chart, behind Sega's Power Drift. 1988. Chase HQRK. Drive fast and catch the bad guys Miami Vice star. Chase HQ's gameplay, which involved ramming the enemy car while avoiding oncoming traffic, has been cited as a precursor to the gameplay of later titles such as Driver and Burnout. 1988. Hot Chase by Konami. There are many obstacles along the way including railroad crossings, military checkpoints, helicopters that shoot at the car and other cars. The gameplay is said to be similar to Chase HQ. 1988. Winning run by Namco. Development of the game began in 1985, taking three years to complete. It is considered a milestone in 3D polygonal graphics technology, being able to draw 60,000 individual polygons per second. 1988. Power Drift by Sega. More technologically advanced than Sega's earlier racing games. Guinness World Records gave Power Drift the award for first kart racing video game as it predated Super Mario Kart in 1992. 1989. Turbo Outrun by Sega. More calm. More road. More action. The courses are race straightforward in several sections, consisting of four stages each with no fork roads. The most notable difference over the original is the addition of the turbo. 1989. Big run by Jalico. Rendered in 3D. The game is the first to be set in the Paris Dakar Rally Raid, which the player drives a Porsche 959. The game was also planned for 8 bit computers. Sadly, the C64, Spectrum, and Amstrad versions all met the same fate. 1989 Hard Driving by Atari Games. The game features one of the first 3D polygon driving environments. In 2004, Hard Driving was released for the GameCube, PlayStation 2 and Xbox as part of the Midway Arcade Treasures collection. 
1989. Special criminal investigation are continuing where Chase HQ left off. This time there's were the changes, bikers, guns and deadly helicopters. An Amstrad console version was written, but never officially released, and only a small number of cartridges are known to exist. 1989. Super Monaco GP. It is the sequel to the 1979 arcade game Monaco GP. The game was also developed for the 10th anniversary of Monaco GP. Super Monaco GP was the first arcade game where the arcade cabinet gave direct feedback in response to gameplay. 1990. Radmobile by Sega. Radmobile is a racing arcade game developed by AM3. This was also Sonic's first appearance. 1990. Cisco Heat by Jellico. Cisco Heat was designed by many former employees of Sega. After Jellico absorbed the company, the team began work on a spiritual successor to Big Run, which became Cisco Heat. 1992. Virtua Racing, Sega. Virtua Racing is regarded as one of the most influential video games of all time, for laying the foundations for subsequent 3D racing games, and for popularizing 3D polygon graphics among a wider audience. 1993. Ridge Racer by Namco. The first entry in the series, originally released for arcades, running on the Namco System 20 to arcade system. A PlayStation conversion was released in 1994. 1994. Daytona USA. Whereas Ridge Racer focused on simulation, Daytona USA instead aimed for funky entertainment. Game planner Makoto Osaki said he purchased a sports car and watched the NASCAR film Days of Thunder more than 100 times. 1994. Sega Rally Championship. Upon release, the game sold 12,000 arcade units. Upon its Saturn home console release, the game sold 1.2 million copies. In 2010, Codemasters cited Sega Rally as a strong influence on their first Colin McRae Rally game. 